Hello again, SG Beers. I'm Companion Wolf. Welcome to another Smile Game Builder tutorial and the first official one of 2022. In this video, I'm going to look at text decoration, which is where you can manipulate the text in messages such as with bold, italics, and underline, and change the font size and color, amongst other things. These are case sensitive and all lowercase. All of the text decorations are preceded by a backslash, similar to the message control characters, which I went through in tutorial 68. Bear in mind that not every text decoration control code will work in all messages. In the help file, the list can be found on page 116. Most of these will work with all message windows, message, dialog, ticker text and text image. The first of these three are the basic bold, italic and underline. So bold is backslash B enclosing the text that you want to embolden. Similarly with italics, it's backslash I and with underline is backslash U. These work with all the message windows, message, dialogue, ticker text, and text on screen as image. So if we play test it first, you can actually see the first one will be bold, italic, underline, and that's the ticker text. That's the text as image. The next one is altering the text size, which can be done with a backslash Z. The text is enclosed in square brackets after the backslash Z. Normal size is 100, double size is 200, half size is 50. Here are a few notes on text size in general. If you are using the normal text and nothing else, you don't need to use backslash Z or backslash Z100 at all. You probably could if you want to, say for consistency, but there's, there's really no point. If you're making a font bigger or smaller in the middle of sentences, you'll need to add the backslash Z to return the text to normal. So for instance, if we were to put this particular one, you'd have the text as a uh, one and a half times. And then afterwards to return the text to normal, you'd backslash Z. The type of font you use in your game will affect things like letter spacing and kerning when resizing your text and it might look warped on screen and uh, that's just something to bear in mind. So let's play test this now. And we can see normal size, which is 100, double size, which is 200, half size, which is 50. And then you have the let's bigger text. Remember that was backslash Z here with 150 and then backslash Z to return this text to normal. And it works in dialogue and ticker text and text is image. For the extra large text sizes, I'd recommend a maximum of in between 250 and 300. Anything above that will cause the text to overlap depending on how long the sentence is. So as an example, in this particular setting, size to 300 is probably fine. Uh, we can play test this to see. Yeah, there you go. It's fine. It works for all windows. If, however, we were to change each one of these for uh, 
to 500 is above and beyond uh, 500. Five hundred for the ticker text. Five hundred for the text on screen, and then we go to play test it again and see what the results would be. It would overlap, and it just wouldn't look right. Mm, this is kind of okay, but it's still a bit. It it extends beyond. It overlaps the edges. So that's not good. That's just something to bear in mind anyway. To add some color to the text, we can use backslash C along with the hexadecimal color code in square brackets and a straight backslash C at the very end of the text to return to the normal color, which defaults to white. You don't need to put the hash tag in the same way that you do the HTML color codes. You can either use lower or uppercase. I prefer using the uppercase because it's easy to read. So in this case, it'd be red, green, blue, and yellow. And if we play test this now, we can actually see the colors. Dialog. Take a text, text this image. The next two, according to the manual, are to write Ruby, which is like an addendum or a footnote on certain words. Both are called by using backslash R. Write Ruby one is weirdly messed up. The manual states that the word thousand will be displayed above the number thousand if the following is used backslash r thousand thousand so let's play test this so you can see what is going to happen and this is where it becomes messed up the text is so small it's microscopic it doesn't matter what you put here it's still unreadably small I think this is clearly an oversight or maybe a fundamental flaw. And what seems to happen is the word tries to compact itself to fit the first character, but it ignores everything else. And no, you can't change the font size. So this message control is essentially useless. Instead, we can apply write Ruby 2. The manual tells us that it's designed for pronouncing words, placing the pronunciation above. We can still use it to supersede write Ruby one. That manual says that the quote unquote string written after the comma is applied above the string before the comma. In other words, you have the word to appear above the text first, then a comma, and then the original word. So using the manuals example for write Ruby two, We'd use this backslash R thousand one thousand. And I've done this for the others as well. Um, incidentally, if you were to put a comma here separating the numbers, then it will display the one because it will think that it's a separator. So with numbers or larger numbers, just put one comma. In fact, we'll, we'll put that thousand and then one comma thousand to see what happens with the play test. And you can see that's not quite what we want. So instead, just have the whole number. Now, if we play test again, that is correct. We have the, the number, 
we have the word a thousand and above that a thousand. And similarly, we can swap them around a bit. And have 1,000 as the number there. 1,000 as the word to appear above the text. There, 1,000 in number and above that 1,000. And this will work with the display window, the dialogue, the ticker text, and the text as image. So as another example, when let's say Marie comes from the Zittish Nets Republic, how the hell would a player even pronounce that? Well, the placement is as follows. Using the backslash R again, we will put the place name first, and then we would put the pronunciation, maybe phonetical or some otherwise, um, and then we can go ahead and... So when it comes to it, the right movie 2 would be able to tell you exactly how to pronounce it. Zetesnetch. Zetesnetch. <laughs> Sounds Polish or Czechoslovakian, doesn't it? And that's it. That is a very useful feature. Both Write Ruby message controls work in all messages. Just don't even bother with Write Ruby 1, though, uh, as you can see, it's pretty much useless, but use Write Ruby 2 instead. The next one is wait. This allows a pause between words or sentences. This will not work in display ticker text or display text on screen as image. There are two kinds of wait. The first is backslash W, which can be used to pause words at equal intervals. As an example, we can use I'm backslash W going blah, blah, blah to wait right here. And it will work. We play test it. I'm going to wait right here. The ticker text, it will not work, but it will in dialogue. I just put that ticker text in there for example. With the second wait type, you can add a number enclosed in square brackets after the backslash W. This is measured in seconds. So for example, I'm and it'll wait backslash W in square brackets. 0 0.025, which I believe is quarter second. Then after going third of a second, fourth, fifth, one second, one and a half seconds. And again, I've included a tick text because that probably won't work. doesn't work. You see that you can see that it starts slowing down. Ticker text once again doesn't work and it's the same way with display text screen on image. It won't work. But with dialogue. Da, 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 da. There. Now According to the manual, the next one on the list is blink display or blinking text, which flashes the text message beginning with backslash greater than and ends with backslash less than. However, this doesn't seem to work. Maybe it will now, but I don't know. It doesn't work. I believe at one point it did work and the text did actually flash, but I had no reason to use it as I found it quite annoying. So this particular command is essentially useless as well. Wait input, the next one. 
enables a key press in the middle of the messages with a backslash exclamation mark. This won't work in display ticker text or display text on screen as image. And I think input key, therefore I am. So we'll test this one out again, I think, and then it waits for you to press the action key, therefore I am. This is Figure text doesn't work. Dialog does, I think. Therefore, I am. The message control backslash hat. I forget what this is called. But um, it's backslash and the hat symbol. Oh, it's called the carrot. Backslash and the carrot. Usually on the keyboard, it would be shift six. This should definitely be used in combination with the weight control. Otherwise, the message will just open and close. So to prove a point, um, let us delete this and we will play test it. It's so, it's so quick. So it's important to put it with a weight. Paste the weight back. And then say change this to 0.8 seconds. So that at least it gives you a chance. This will only work with the display message and it closes down after 0.8 seconds so i'll only work with the display message and display dialog the last one is the double backslash to show an actual backslash in messages otherwise sgp will interpret it as a message control and if one doesn't exist it will pretty much ignore it so as an example you can embolden text with double backslash B, italicize with back, double backslash I, underline double backslash U. Now, in this case, it will work with all messages. And there it will have backslash B, dialogue, ticker text and display text as message. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on social media and donate if you want to help support this channel. And you can visit all of these websites, main websites. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Until the next time.